Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be working on an abstract design, which is a design without using any realistic shapes. Just combining shapes and colors to make something that will look really beautiful. So here are the supplies you will need. You will need a piece of typing paper, printer paper, or if you have the pad that your teacher asked you for, pull out one sheet from the pad. You need a pencil, a black Sharpie marker, your crayons, and a pair of scissors. And oh yes, you will need to take off one of your, ta-da, shoes. I, I, I had mine in the closet. I really didn't just take it off, but this is what I'm going to use. So let's begin. On your paper, what you're going to do is lay your shoe down and trace all around it with the pencil. Don't let your pencil dig underneath. Keep it straight up so that it touches all around the shoe. And when you're done, outline it with your Sharpie marker. After you've done that, you cut it out. And then you look carefully at the bottom of your shoe and copy the pattern that's on the bottom of your shoe. Now, if it's a very complicated pattern, this one happens to be pretty simple. But if it's very complicated, you can leave some of the details out. It's perfectly okay to leave some things out if it's going to be way too much to copy. After you've done this, you're going to take your black Sharpie marker and you're going to outline everything, including the outside of your shoe, the outline, and everything inside. First, you do it in pencil. That way you can erase any mistakes and then you outline it. This is going to become the basis for your design, your template or your tracer. Then what you're going to do is take a fresh sheet of paper for your final project and you're going to lay this down and it's okay to have it come off a little bit. It's perfectly all right. And then you're going to trace around this and then when you go inside of it you draw all the details again just like you did on this one and you've got your first tracing that's your first shoe pattern now it's ready to get in with some color you can make any colors you want. I decided to make each section a different color except for some orange details. After you've done that, you're going to take your shoe tracer and you're going to lay it across wherever you would like. Of course, it will go over the other one, which is laying on top of it, but we don't want to draw right on top of the other one. We only want to draw the parts that are sticking out from the first shoe. This first shoe will be the one that's on top. So anything else will look like it's underneath. So we just trace all the parts that are underneath so that you end up with something that looks like this. See how I only traced the parts that are sticking out from here? I didn't go over this shoe. But of course, you will have the color on yours already. Each shoe has to be done separately with the color. I found out from working with it that it's the best way to do it. So here's my first shoe that I did in color. Here's my second shoe that I had laid across this way. It's outlined in pencil then in Sharpie marker, then you go ahead with your color. Don't wait till you do more, do the color right away. I decided for mine that I wanted each shoe to look sort of alike with the color, but 
you don't have to do that. You can have all different colors in each shoe. And then boys and girls, you go back to your tracer and you do it again. Trace around only the parts that stick out and put your outline in and your color and so on and so forth. You continue to do that over and over again until you've just about filled up your paper. See, here's the first shoe, the second shoe, the third shoe, only a little bit sticks out until I filled up almost all of my paper. There, pretty complicated, huh? But because you put the color in each shoe when you're done, you end up with a fantastic design. Now, I like to give it one finishing touch, especially with crayon. I like to take a paper towel, nice and soft. If it's not soft, crumple it up a little bit. It takes out the stiffness and makes it like a nice soft cloth. And I make it into a nice little pad to fit in my fingers like this. And then I hold it still because it's going to scrumple up. And I gently polish it round and round and round and round and round and round. You do get a little bit of the crayon off. But what it does, it's like polishing up wax. Like when you put wax on a car and you polish it up, how shiny it gets. Well, that's what happens to this. I don't know if you can see it boys and girls on on the YouTube video but it really gets nice and shiny all right so let's just quick review start with your shoe put it down and trace it put the cut it out put your pattern in the shoe go over it with a black sharpie marker start one at a time, one shoe at a time. First shoe goes on here, and you trace it and put the color in. Then your second shoe will go wherever you like it to be. It could come off the paper if you like, but only trace the parts that stick out from the other shoe. Don't go over the shoe until you're all finished and you have a wonderful, colorful, abstract design. Don't forget when you're using crayons, press a little harder. You want to leave a nice thick coating of wax. Well, boys and girls, good luck with this. It is a lot of work, but I have faith in you. I know you can do it.